What's up guys? It's time for the most talked about tablet of the time. Yes, the all new Apple iPad Air 2. Just recently launched and released in India and I'm quite lucky enough to get it on the first day of the release by pre-booking in the Apple store itself. So why the wait? Let's go ahead and unpack the whole thing. And now uh, if you're an existing iPad user uh, on the outside you will see that it's pretty much the same and also the text and orientation of this particular box looks the same. As you can see it says Apple um, iPad Air it's written in gold as I have selected the gold variation which is a new entrant to this iPad Air 2. On the front it displays the slim look of the Apple iPad Air 2 and just looking at it you cannot understand that well, what is the specifications and stuff like that so far you just need to go at the bottom of the box and if you follow over here closely it says iPad Air Wi-Fi cellular 64 gigs gold so this particular tablet is a 64 GB one and Wi-Fi and a cellular model both inbuilt in it so let's go ahead and start unpacking the full thing now as you know this Apple iPad Air 2 is turned as the world's thinnest tablet yeah, it's very thin actually. Let's go. It also comes in space gray and silver color options. And in addition to the current lot is a gold variation which I have selected. Okay, it comes with a plastic pack. I have just removed the plastic pack for the convenience of the video. Just let us go ahead and open the box. It's very easy to unbox. Just hold it and just press it at the bottom. Okay, here it is. Wow, it's it looks so great, so amazing. See, Apple has taken a minute care on this particular leap also. You just hold this, just put it on this. Oh, it feels so light. Yeah, it's very light in the hand. It feels so light and so great. See, it's a gold variation as you can see. Okay, uh, I'll deal with it more in some time. But before that, let's just go ahead and look at all the stuffs that are present inside the box. As you can see that over here is a multi-point charger that has a USB at one end and the plug mount on the other. It's it's an Indian variation, it's an Indian model, so you can see the plug variation is actually that will fit in into Indian in, in any Indian sockets. So apart from that, as you can see, here is a manual box that says designed by Apple in California. Um, if you go ahead, you will see that it gives a, a pin. I guess you are quite familiar with this pin if you are an iPhone user because using this particular pin you can actually insert the SIM or go ahead and do stuff along with the SIMs in your iPad. So this comes in very handy. It's very small but it's very powerful I tell you. Okay apart from that as you can see here is a quick guide. that our Apple iPad Air that says a quick guide of the home buttons, the lightning connector, the volume buttons, stuff like that and also the iPad info it tells you some important tips, some basic tips actually and of course the Apple stickers so this sums up this quick guidebook, this pack and apart from that yeah you will find the USB charger, the USB cable as you can see here now let us look into the iPad Air 2 full specifications the setup stops like that so as you can see uh, I can actually feel it's very light in the air although it's very big it's 9.7 inch diagonally but it's very light very light as uh, if I flip back as I have told you previously also it's a new addition to iPad Air 2 the golden color this particular golden color is quite different from that of the iPhone 5s which Apple has used the champagne color over there but this goal is much more appealing so I've gone for that and uh, of course it's a new addition so it gives a good color combination to it now on the side if you notice uh, over here what they have done is that they have actually copied the volume up and the volume down button straight from iPhone 6 and 6 plus apart from that uh, you can see the toggling switch for the mute uh, for the rotation lock button that Apple has actually removed in order to make this particular product much more thin and at the back of course as you can see here is eyesight camera at the bottom uh, this is a new addition also as you can see it's a single row uh, multi-channel speakers these are the output for the speakers in the previous version of Apple iPad you would see there are two rows of speakers but 
do not be fooled by seeing only the one row of the speaker this sounds really amazing okay now um, as I have told this uh, to be precise in figures this Apple iPad Air 2 is 6.1 millimeter thin and weighs about 437 grams actually it's 18 percent thinner than the previous Apple iPad Air so you can understand by that it's quite thin and quite light and very easy to use uh, also Apple iPad Air 2 is built with aluminium coating uh, at the back and front so it gives a premium look to, to the whole thing and it looks very classy actually so let's get started with the setup okay as you can see here is a button to switch on the Apple iPad Air 2 ah here is the logo hi Apple hola okay so it gives you the option to choose your language hello slide to setup just select your language I'll choose English of course select your region I'm from India so I'll go ahead and choose India over here you can select your country it's very easy so it comes in alphabetical order also so it gives you the option to go ahead and choose okay English India yeah it sounds good emoji the emote icons yeah it's great so over here it says next I just hit next choose a Wi-Fi network yeah it has directed my Wi-Fi network very easily very smoothly I'll just go ahead and select it it's security protected so let me just give you a uh, give the password over here but before doing that I'll show you what Apple iPad Air 2 has done they have given a very beautiful keyboard over here at the bottom as you can see it's so nice so good and let me just touch them just for that moment oh it's so so easy to use and so the touch is so user friendly but remember the plastic cover is still there that also it gives you a so smooth touch so imagine what will happen if I remove that okay let me go ahead and give the password okay given my password wonderful it may take a few minutes to activate your iPad okay hola device is ready after inserting a new SIM check if there are new settings available on your carrier I'll go ahead and insert a SIM later on but just for the moment let me go ahead and start the Apple iPad Air 2 without the SIM let me hit continue okay now it says a location service enable location service for now I should enable it so it just detects my location stuff like that set up a new iPod uh, new iPad rest from your iCloud back out rest from your iTunes back up let me just go ahead and set up as a new iPad for now sign in with your Apple ID of course I have my own Apple ID let me just do that okay after I've given my Apple ID and password it asks for some terms and conditions so I just agree to it because if I don't agree they will not allow me to continue agree of course I agree it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID okay now it says do you want to use iCloud or don't use iCloud so of course I will use iCloud find my iPad find my iPad is automatically enabled when you use iCloud of course it's good uh, so I hit it next iMessage and FaceTime it automatically retrieves my number and email ID used that once I've given my Apple ID and password over there so after that I hit next now it's updating the iCloud settings so as you can see this particular time you need to give because it will set up the whole thing and make your iPad ready to use okay now I want to now I want to say something about this particular touch ID in Apple iPad Air 2 this is a new addition as you can see oh, just over there it's a new addition to iPad Air 3 that is a biometric touch ID sensor which can sense your registered finger and help you to access the Apple Pay and also unlock your device trust me it works every time I've seen it just at the time of setup you just need to register you identify uh, the fingertip very precisely to the device and you are done trust me touch ID is capable of a 360 degree readability no matter how you are holding it okay let's go ahead and just register my finger my touch ID so to do that I need to actually open the particular iPad Air 2 right now of course okay it says touch the home button to enroll your fingerprint make sure you cover the ring and that your finger is right I have made sure that my finger is right I'll use my thumb okay let's go ahead and I hit OK and go ahead and just push the thumb
this is very mandatory because the way you uh, let your finger register this device yeah it's it's done see it's very easy and it's very easily it has ad adjusted my grip adjust your grip keep going to capture the edges of your print continue Place your finger right okay just I'm just placing each and every corner of my finger okay complete that ID is ready your print can be used for unlocking your iPad continue curate a passcode I'll just give mine passcode over here of course just let me give it welcome to iPad get started Oh my god, it's such a vibrant display. It's so bright. My god, it looks so great over here. Now let me show you. The screen is 9.7 inch with a retina display and it gives a resolution of 2048 in 1536 resolution. It also boasts of 3.1 million pixels with 264 pixels per inch, that is 264 ppi. It is an LED backlit and an IPS technology embedded on the screen. The display of the previous generation's iPad uses three segment components. The iPad Air 2 changes all of that. Mind you, it combines all those three layers into one. This eliminates the gaps between the layers and also the internal reflectance caused by those gaps. The result, colors are richer, contrast is greater and images are sharper and more vivid. And there is an anti-reflective coating also. If I can show you in the direct sunlight, you will see that the stuffs are much more readable than the previous versions of the iPad. Maybe I'll show that in a separate video. Now if I go to settings, it'll uh, show you that it comes with an OS, iOS of 8.1 and it's in complete sync with OS Yosemite running on your MacBook or iMac. Performance wise also, if I tell you, it's no less than a high-end machine. It is loaded with A8X 3-core 64-bit chip that runs at a speed of 1.5 gigahertz and it's also loaded with an M8 motion core processor. Compare just co if you if I compare it to its previous model, it is 40% faster and 2.5 times faster graphic performance. Hence, it has a 10-hour battery backup also. Now, uh, with Apple iPad Air 2, it also comes with a 2 GB of RAM. Let me tell you, it's not a mean setting. It's fully loaded and a great machine to be in your hands because whatever task I throw into the iPad Air 2 be it a 3D game, a 2D game, multitasking, browsing the net, editing documents or pictures it just outperforms in every aspect. I'll show you with videos uh, later on in my channel also that how the, how is the performance of this Apple iPad Air 2. Now lastly uh, I should not forget the eyesight camera. It comes with an 8 megapixel at a 1080p 30 frame per second so it's a quite decent camera although you know with tablet with Apple iPad Air 2 the flash part is missing but it still it gets a decent picture let me show you uh, with the picture if I just click over here and just give you a very basic demo also it's a low light condition over here and I just uh, take a focus and just do it over there and see it just uh, shoots very easily now if I go to picture over here it's, uh, see it will shoot it very easily so it's quite decent actually end of the day the 8 megapixel camera and of course the first time HD camera it uh, it has a larger f by 2.2 aperture and uh, it's a 1.2 megapixel at 720p HD video recording capabilities so it's no less than a mean machine actually the front camera also lets in 81% more light than the usual self so that's it it sums up guys it sums up the apple ipad air 2 in, in my hand it is i'll just make a lot of videos showing the performance how it how it uh, actually applies the updates the sync with user media stuff like that just like the video hit the thumbs up button for now it will help my channel of course subscribe to my youtube channel i'll show you the most interesting updates in apple ipad air 2 because lastly what i can say according to me a piece thinner it's lighter and it's faster and it is a touch ID oh I forgot to mention one thing also it has improved wireless so what more can you ask for in an iPad Apple has done a great thing with this okay guys thank you guys bye bye for now I'll come up with more updates soon